Hey guys, Saivan here. Welcome back to another episode of Unturned on the War Z server. Now, since I've last been on recorded on the server, uh, a couple of people have come on, jumped off, and I believe Digital Penguin has released another episode or two since then. Uh, the Bonehead Gamer I don't think has been able to get on much. I think it was on last night. I don't know what they did. Uh, I actually had a previous recording with an intro, which was pretty out of this world, and I'll show you why in a second here. Unfortunately, I deleted it. I didn't realize it, and it was too big to go to the recycle bin, so it was, it's gone. But, as you can almost see, I, I thought it was gone for a second, we have a helicopter. I need to still build a staircase to get on top of there, but I went and I found a helicopter almost immediately right after recording my flight test uh, video there. So, yeah, I, that was kind of the intro of the, oh my god, we found a helicopter, let's take this, you know, get in, fly it over. That right there was almost half an episode. But today, I have a little something different in mind. Now, I threw all these down. Some of them are just, well, those are actually empty. That I have purpose for, all these racks. It's going with all these vaults in my room. Which, yeah, this one I'm using is random storage right now. I keep finding more pieces of the ghillie and the thief, which is awesome. I'm not going to use them right now because, well, <laughs> it's just me. So I'm just using for storage. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to start on my room. We're not going to finish it today, I don't think. Well, we might now that I have to fill up some more time. But what I'm going to do... No, where did I put them? Well, that's the floors I want. I need these roofs. I've, I've got the base, like the ground level, I guess you could say, of it. I have all the pieces for that. Anything additional, I want to keep it like pine the next level up, kind of like I did with this base here. So what we're going to do... Oh, I'm holding glass. I'm not holding what I thought it was. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go one, oh, two three over off of the base and then we're going to use the floor. I'm using that so that way it kind of looks like a little bridge. And so now, oh seriously I can't, oh I was really hoping I'd be able to place the floor like right on it. That entirely messes up my plan here. Well, dar oh you know what, I know what I can do now. Okay let's, let's get rid of that. Oh, I don't need my weapon out. So we're going to pick these back up, because, oh, let's get off of that one before I pull it. I know what we're going to do now. We're, I know how to fix this. Uh, what we're going to do, so let's equip the floor. We're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to put the first floor there, and we're going to pick this one back up pick that one back up and get off that and we're going to pick this one off. Now we can use the roof and stick them on. There we go. Okay, now I know how I can do this pretty good. Alright. So that's going to give like a bridge looking effect to it. So we're going to make our room 3x3. Three three. So there's two, there's three across. I'm going to throw a floor there, throw a floor there, one there, and then all across the front. And so there's that. Now, need all these fancy dancy pillars. I'm going to throw them on every single corner post here. So how are you guys doing? I, I, I know room building's kind of boring to watch, uh, but I had to do it, and I thought I'd, you know, give you guys a little bit of content as often as possible. I can't jump on too, too often, and not always when I jump on am I able to record. Uh, mostly just because, you know, fiance's home and in and out of the bedroom all day for the whole time. I thought I had, oh, I thought I made more pillars than that. I thought I had some for the center. But we'll worry about those later. Okay, so what we now need to grab, I didn't take into account that I'd be taking these off. We're going to grab... where are they? Okay, we're going to grab this one-way glass, except for one now. 
grab those, we're gonna grab these, and we're gonna grab all of this. So it's still gonna look as good as I can make it. So let's quit the doorway. We're gonna have one doorway here, and one doorway there. And let's throw the doors in. No, I want it to open out. It's gonna open outward. So we're gonna close that. I want this one to open outward as well. There we go. Okay. And now I'm also going to use some barbed wire fence. Oh, I actually have to decide where to place it. Well, that I don't like that very much. Let's try that. That's almost almost seamless. I don't care. It's good enough for now. Okay. Anyways, let's. You know what, actually, I am going to flip this door around. No, I want it to go that way. So that way it's out of my way when I come in. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, yeah, I want you to do the same thing. There we go. Ooh, let's not run into the barbed wire fence. Okay, so now I've got some windows. I want for sure a window there. Um... Yeah, we're gonna throw it on each of the corners here like this. Come on, window. Window. And then I want one on both sides here. We're actually gonna throw one on the back. And I don't think I was accounting for that much. You know what? We're gonna grab this one. We're actually gonna move it over. Then we're gonna grab the walls and we're gonna throw them in. And we'll see how this looks. I might make this a ladder up to the next level of my room. I want, I do want multiple levels. I don't know if I want it to go up 2, 3, 17. I don't, I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, so I have an extra wall. It's because I grabbed that other window. So we'll throw that down here. I'll grab my one-way glass. Okay, I can see through it. I'm good. So we'll throw the one-way glass everywhere. I'm probably going to have to go grab the pane I left behind. Which I can guarantee you, actually, I'm going to. Yep, see. So we'll go and grab that. And where was it? Not there. Not there. It's there. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. So now we are going to grab this pane, throw it in the last opening. There we go. So I don't know. I think I might throw a ramp or a ladder or something here. Or I may, might make it right here, actually, since it's, it'll be a little bit out of the way. But I think I'm going to throw some, like, vaults in front of the windows. Just, like, you know, they're, they're a little further down. I can still see out them and whatnot. But we're definitely going to want a second level on here. So I'm probably just going to go and grab those supplies... But first, I want to see how this looks from the outside. Yeah, see, so it looks like it's all on its own there. I, that's awesome. I kind of want to... You know what? I think I'm going to make on the second or third level. I'm going to make a little spot that protrudes a little bit. So that way I can put a sentry turret there so it covers this side. So it'll be able to see them. It just won't get them from, you know, a great distance or anything. But I like that. It's kind of got that prison tunnel-y feel to it. So let's get in here. And I believe most of these are empty, so we'll grab a few of them. Yeah, that one. No, come on. That one's empty. That one's empty. You're empty. I'm going to want the rifle racks, too, because this is how I'm going to store my guns now. Guns and ammo. I believe it's just the one that has items. No, that one does, but that's because it's holding my rifle racks for all of, oops, all my guns. And, yeah. So I will see you guys in my room once I place all of these, because there's no point in me trying to constantly talk while I'm placing them all. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, so I've got most of it set up now. Let's go in and take a look. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. See, now, I, I went with a metal, 
I, I was going to try to put the Hell's Fury in here, but unfortunately, it doesn't, it's not big enough. It needs one more row. So, we're just going to have to live with a paintball gun in there. I, I kind of like the vaults on the side storage. It almost makes it look like it's supposed to be a sound system. I, I personally like it. I don't care what you think. It's my room. <laughs> so yeah, I got my paintball guns in there. Got my Hell's Fury and ammo for guns I don't have yet there. I decided to use some wardrobes. So until I get full outfits, I'm just going to throw all the pieces in here. This one is gear for Alyssa. If she jumps back on, if she doesn't, then, well, I have a backup set of gear right here. So if I ever die, bam, I got backup gear. I will replace this with military night vision when I get some. Well, I'll get another one, I should say. And here's just my extra headgear for now. I'm, I don't know what else I'm going to throw in this wardrobe yet. But yeah, here's my little gun collection. Uh, I do. I am going to put more metal racks on the bottom if I get other guns like this. Like It's just got the calling card and the Nikorev. Yeah, Nikorev box. And then the spare pieces here, which I might throw in with military stuff later. I do need to throw in a couple more vaults. But yeah, so each gun, and then, like for example, here we have the Night Raider, and inside we have some magazines for the Night Raiders, some ammo boxes. So all of these have some ammo for the perspective gun, if I have the ammo for it, that is. Uh, I don't think any of these I don't have the ammo for, so yeah, I got some ammo in there. I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna put a staircase here or a ladder here. I'm not sure which one yet. And then I'm going to have my own personal kitchen up above. So I'm going to throw some more storage around in here somewhere. So I've got this portion done. Or I might just put the stairs in the middle. Kind of, you know, make this my own personal vault room. So I think I will actually just put some more vaults in there. Maybe another metal display case here. I don't know yet. But yeah, so my room's coming along pretty nicely. And it's just a whole bunch of moving stuff back and forth at this point. Uh, and then I'm going to have to play around with it in here to make a little vault room, make a kitchen upstairs. So we're just going to actually make this a short episode. I'm going to grab some food while I'm at it. I, I, kinda, I started dying from hunger because I wasn't paying attention. And as you can see, we're doing really well for food. Uh, you know what? We are going to grab one, two, three, four. We're going to... Oh, I forgot. I grabbed two at a time. Oh, well. So we're going to make a ton of sandwiches. We are going to go over here now, I believe, that one. Yeah. We're going to grab what well, we got. One, two, three. We can make four sandwiches. So one, two, three, four. We're going to make four sand grilled cheese sandwiches for ourselves. Mmm, -mm, tasty. We've got a fire out here somewhere. Where did Dan put it? There it is. Or maybe it was me. I don't know. But we're going to light it. We're going to make some grilled cheese sandwiches before we leave. So one, two, three, four. Eight pieces of bread, four grilled cheese sandwiches. Mmm, mmm, that is tasty. Now, oh, well, now I'm super thirsty, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna keep making some stuff for my room. I might... Yeah, I got oh, water upstairs. I might make, uh... Yeah, I might just make a bunch of things, and then I'll maybe do a speed build of... Oh, yeah, I got tons of lettuce here. That's not what I want. I might do a speed build of, uh, me you know, putting it all in my room, or maybe I'll just save it all and show you guys the design after. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll figure it out. You'll see how it happens. So this is the view from up top so far. Yeah, we're going to get another one or two layers up there. Going to make my little bedroom portion, my own personal, you know, personal chill spot. And I'm prob I might make my own personal little farm, even though this entire base is pretty much mine since nobody comes on. But whatever, I want my own little room that I can do whatever in. And it's all I need really. Just you know, this tiny little space, a three by three area, that's all I need. I might put a helipad on my roof and then I'll put my helicopter on top here. I'm not sure yet because I haven't bothered looking for an airplane. But as for looking for a plane, I have a plan to help one spawn in. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. It may be the next episode, it may not. It depends on if I can find a detonator. So yeah, the next episode's gonna be explosive. I hope to see you guys then. And yeah, that's that's it. So bye. Go away.
You can leave now. Okay, well, now that you're gone, I'm gonna grab myself some glue because, oh man, I've been waiting to drink you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no negative side effects. Well, crap, that's not good for ratings. <laughs>